Hi guys, hallo Leute! Welcome back to German with Jenny. I hope you had a good weekend and that you got a lot of rest because you have some tough German lessons ahead of you. <laughs> All right, today I want to talk to you about the subordinate conjunction das. Okay, we haven't talked about subordinate conjunctions yet, um, but we will start off real slow and I will uh, give you a couple of examples. All right, and it's really not that difficult. The word das is one of the most important subordinate conjunctions in German, all right? We'll take a look at the other subordinate conjunctions in some future videos, but right now I want us to concentrate on das, okay? Now you have to remember that if you use das in a sentence, the structure of the sentence will change, okay? Now I want to teach you this subordinate conjunction by introducing you to the phrase did you know that, okay? Did you know that he got promoted? Did you know that they are moving to Berlin? Okay, so this is perfect for all of those of you who like to talk about other people and gossip. Okay, let's take a look at some examples. In subordinate clauses, the structure of the sentence changes. Let's take a look at the first example. This is a main clause. Ich habe morgen Geburtstag. Ich habe morgen Geburtstag. Which means tomorrow is my birthday, okay? So we have the verb habe, which means have, okay? And it's in the second position, all right? Um, remember that in the main clause, the verb is always in the second position, okay? All right. Now, as soon as we add a subordinate clause, we need to put the verb in a different position. In the subordinate clause, the verb takes the last position, okay? So this is what it looks like. Wusstest du, dass ich morgen Geburtstag habe? Did you know that tomorrow is my birthday? Okay. Or literally, did you know that I tomorrow birthday have? Okay. Doesn't make sense in English, but this is how we say it in German. Okay. So the verb habe travels to the end of the sentence. Okay. That's pretty much all you need to know. Let's take a look at the second example. Rainer wurde befördert. Raina was promoted, okay? This is a passive voice sentence. He was promoted by someone, okay? Raina wurde befördert. So uh, we can see that the verb is in the second position. Wurde takes the second position, okay? Now let's take a look at the subordinate clause, okay? Wusstest du, dass Raina befördert wurde? So we have the main clause, wusstest du? And we have the subordinate clause, dass Raina befördert wurde. So the verb travel, travels to the end of the sentence, okay? So it's not in the second position anymore, it's in the last position, okay? Wusstest du, dass Rainer befördert wurde? Luise hat im Lotto gewonnen. Luise has won in the lottery. Luise hat im Lotto gewonnen. So we're using the perfect tense here, okay? We're using the helping verb hat, and we're using the past participle gewonnen, okay? So the helping verb is in the second position and the past participle is in the last position, okay? This is what happens in the main clauses. Now, if we have a subordinate clause, we need to put both verbs at the end of the sentence, okay? In the second to last position, you have the past participle and in the last position, you have the helping verb, okay? So this is what it sounds like. Wusstest du, dass Luise im Lotto gewonnen hat? Wusstest du, dass Luise im Lotto gewonnen hat? Okay, so literally, did you know that Luise in the lottery won has? Okay, sounds really weird in English, but that's the structure in German. Helene holt ihren Mann vom Bahnhof ab. Helene holt ihren Mann vom Bahnhof ab. Helene is picking up her husband from the train station. We're using the separable verb abholen here. Remember, I, I talked to you about separable verbs in another video. And I told you that in the present tense, you have to separate the prefix from the stem of the verb, okay? So the prefix here is ab, okay? The infinitive is abholen, all right? So um, here in the main clause, you separate, uh, as I said, you separate the prefix from the stem. So you have the prefix at the end, okay, of the sentence. Now in a subordinate clause, um, you have to forget that rule because that rule doesn't apply. In a subordinate clause, you do not separate the prefix from the stem. So this is what it sounds like. Wusstest du, 
dass Helene ihren Mann vom Bahnhof abholt? So, did you know that Helene um, is picking up her husband from the train station? Okay. Wusstest du, dass Helene ihren Mann vom Bahnhof abholt? So, here uh, we have the verb in the last position. And the verb here is abholt. Okay. So, we do not separate the verb in this instance. We do not separate verbs in subordinate clauses. All right? Now, let's see if you guys understood this. Okay? Let me give you a sentence, and you're going to have to form a sentence that uses the conjunction das. Okay? Number one. Er studiert immer noch. Er studiert immer noch. Now, how would you say, did you know that he's still studying? Did you know that he is still studying? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. All right, the answer is, wusstest du, dass er immer noch studiert? Wusstest du, dass er immer noch studiert? Number two, Thomas ist krankgeschrieben. Thomas ist krankgeschrieben. Now, how would you say, did you know that Thomas is on sick leave? I'll give you a couple of seconds to think about it. Okay, the answer is, wusstest du, dass Thomas krankgeschrieben ist? Wusstest du, dass Thomas krankgeschrieben ist? Number three. Saskia hat gekündigt. Saskia hat gekündigt. Now, how would you say, did you know that Saskia quit? Did you know that Saskia quit? I'll give you a couple of seconds. Okay, the answer is, wusstest du, dass Saskia gekündigt hat? Wusstest du, dass Saskia gekündigt hat. Okay, that was it for today. Um, I made a couple of exercises and some flashcards on this topic. So remember to go to my blog, germanwithjenny.com, and you can practice this topic. Because I know at the beginning it doesn't seem easy, but the more routine you get, the easier it's going to get. All right? Okay. Dankeschön fürs Zusehen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!